Join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Dear Lord, as a community, we are in need of wisdom to make the right decision, perseverance to build upon the hopes of the people, and patience because the pathway is not always clear. The difficult work of governing continues. Bless the leaders of this county, this state, and this country as they tackle the ongoing issues challenging us. Amen. Okay. Um, there are no changes or alterations to the agenda as originally written. I would I like think to that's the first time I've ever said that. Okay. <laughs> well, I would like to uh, remove item 7C from the agenda. That's the rezoning application. We just got the uh, uh, proffers uh, 15 minutes ago, uh, and I would like to remove it uh, from the agenda for tonight. Okay. Deleted and that is put back on the agenda when? Next meeting, I would suspect. Okay. <coughs> uh, any other changes? Uh, yeah, just a minute. Okay. That's it? All right. With that, then I would look for a motion to approve the agenda as modified. So moved. Second. Okay. All in favor say aye. 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 Uh, on to the consent agenda. If I could get a motion on that, please. So moved. Seconded. Motion is second. All in favor say aye. 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 Okay. That takes us to public appearances and employee of the month. Yes, Mr. Chairman, members of the board, our May employee of the month began working for Orange County in May of 1990 and was nominated by his supervisor and his peers. This employee is extremely dedicated to the overall good of his office and the county as a whole. He's worked exceptionally hard to fill the void in staffing levels, worked tirelessly on the FY14 budget, and was intensely involved in the reorganization of the, his department and most recently revamped his office's merit evaluations. His extensive knowledge and involvement in seeking out numerous grant opportunities has been instrumental in the successful award of many grants helping to supplement and reduce costs for his department. He led his office through the budget process and has taken it upon himself to learn the ropes of the new website in order to be prepared for the successful website launch. He is also always generous with his time, assistance, and data when asked. It is with great pleasure, Mr. Chairman, that I present to the board our Employee of the Month, Chief Deputy Major Michael Krause. the best thing is when they see their face, you see their faces when they realize, they're talking about me. <laughs> Thank you, Ryan. And we do have uh, one service award this this month, but that person is not able to attend. It's Jonathan, Jonathan Bankert. He's been with the Sheriff's Office for five years, and he's an investigator. All right. Well, with that, then we move to the business spotlight. Lori Holiday, owner of Lori Holiday Interiors. Thank you very much. Excuse me. I'm delighted to have this opportunity to let you all know a little bit about our business in Gordon Hill. Uh, it's called Lori Holiday Interiors. I run the business with my husband, Jim Holiday, who was born in Orange County, uh, grew up in, in Gordon Hill, uh, worked for American Press. together now. And we are absolutely delighted and very gratified that uh, our business is actually a continuation of two family businesses. Uh, my father started um, a business in Princeton, New Jersey in about 1946, um, home furnishings, lamp repair, rewiring, custom lamp work, furniture, accessories. Uh, and Jim's a 
grandfather, James Minor Holiday, um, from Board and Sill started originally um, Holiday Taylor um, Construction, and then uh, the business uh, continued until uh, the mid 70s. So we, we feel very, very good about that. Um, our business is located at 123 South Main Street in Board and Sill. It is across from the town hall, up from Palm, and next to the liquor store. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, we are open every day of the week. We feel that's extremely important. Uh, Monday through Friday from 10 until 5.30, uh, Saturdays from 10 until 5, and Sundays from 11 until 2, or whenever the customers stop coming in. Um, we uh, sell, as I mentioned, we have home furnishings. We have lovely furniture, custom upholstery, leather furniture, um, wonderful gift items, accessories. Uh, we specialize in lamp repair and rewiring and custom lamp work, and that's what my husband does. Um, he calls it Mr. Holiday's Lamp Repair. Uh, and we do all the work on the premises. Uh, we also supply a lot of lampshades um, that uh, seems to be very you know, much needed. And when we opened our business, we decided that, or what I should say is that we would not have opened our business unless we were offering an everyday service. We feel that that's remarkably important to uh, bring customers in who might not ordinarily come to the door. And that has been um, you know, building all the time. We've been there now for five and a half years. And um, our location um, seems to be great. And you know, people, we have people from Fredericksburg, uh, Richmond, Northern Virginia, Charlottesville, all over. We also find that there's a delightful partnership uh, between a lot of the merchants in um, Orange, the town of Orange, uh, and in the county, um, and, and then also the town of Boyd. So we're constantly telling people, you know, asking them why they're in the area and if they're visiting, have you, you know, have you been to Sparks for lunch? Have you been to Montpelier? Have you been to the shops in downtown Orange? So we feel that that is extraordinarily important. Um, I will say that the the only lack of consistency in hours of operation for a lot of the shops. So sometimes it's a little tough for us to, to recommend, you know, on a Sunday or a Monday, or sometimes a Tuesday, sometimes even a Wednesday, to, you know, where can people go? Um, but, uh, so, so we're open all the time, so we don't ever have that negative feedback. Um, but uh, we, we certainly invite um, all of you to come and visit. you'd be um, surprised and hopefully delighted and impressed, maybe. Uh, and, and I think that the bottom line is that the word of mouth is the best advertising. And that's really what we're, we're striving for. So again, thank you very much for the opportunity to, to speak with you all. It's been my pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> for an addition on Main Street in Bordenville. Oh, I wanted to show you. Well. Uh, <laughs> and then this was an ad from one of the old Board and Sill uh, yearbooks. Or no, this is Orange County News. This was the Holiday Brothers Mansion News. This is Jim Cody. This is in the mid-30s. We had a lot of, a lot of uh, items like that that we're going to put up in the shop. Well, Thanks again. Sure. I'm, I'm sure Duff Green's got a picture somewhere or another. I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you. Have a good evening. All right, next would be the presentation of the High Rollers Classic Basketball Tournament Trophy.
goodness. Um, April 20, <laughs> on April 27th, we held the High Rollers Classic featuring the Wilfred Basketball Team. I worked with the Shenandoah Valley High Rollers versus three teams of local Orange Hot Shots, which is Orange Volunteer Fire Department, Orange County Defenders, which is Sheriff's Office, and Orange and Glen Hill County Police, and the Orange County All Stars, which I think is fun, which is featuring player extraordinaire Sam Jordan. <laughs> 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 fundraiser for the OCHS basketball team, and the third was to provide a little public awareness for adaptive sports. This Orange Review coverage seems to be provide, definitely raising awareness for their coverage. <coughs> the basketball team, through admissions and concessions, raised funds to help with summer camp, and the food pantry was the biggest one. Last year, our first event took in 307 pounds of donated food. This year, the All-Stars alone brought in over 500 pounds, with a grand total of 852 pounds of food for the camp. They were overwhelming with that day. We just we kept bringing boxes in, and they just kept sending back leftovers. So I, I think I'm good for a while. <laughs> 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 Next year we're going for the half ton challenge. We're looking to raise a, a, a thousand pounds, over a thousand pounds of food. We just need to tell Food Lion that they need to stock up on the cases before we we all go in. It's a tough time for them. It's the holidays. They get lots of donations. The spring they don't get much, and the summer coming up, all the free lunch kids home on their own. That being said, the All-Stars won the trophy again. It will be raised. It will be tinkered for another year, and there's several groups that are already talking about taking it to next year. <laughs> Teal, do you and Jim want to accept it? Comment. Do we have anybody signed up? No, sir, Mr. Chairman. No. Okay. In that case, board comment. Uh, yeah. Uh, we had our uh, meeting uh, trying to work on the Route 3 corridor plan with the EDA, Planning Commission, and the board uh, last Thursday. Uh, as you know, we're trying to work uh, the uh, uh, agreed to uh, retreat. And we're still looking at dates uh, right now. I guess the latest possibility is, is July, but could be even uh, later. And rather than let things lie fallow for a couple of months, uh, we were thinking of a couple of things uh, to sort of uh, uh, alert the public to that uh, uh, what we're trying to do. Uh, and we thought we might uh, have a, a, a sort of a presentation, maybe an abbreviated presentation that was given to the uh, given last Thursday night. Uh, to the uh, uh, Chamber of Commerce, uh, representatives of the Chamber of Commerce, and then possibly another one uh, down at the other end uh, to the uh, home the three homeowners associations that are that are uh, would be affected down at that end. Uh, and at least the one that we would do down there, uh, we would try to tape it such that it would be available at the libraries and uh, and uh, on various uh, other media, possibly sticking it on YouTube so that anybody who could community could see what we're trying to do. Uh, a second thing would be to uh, ask the uh, ask the uh, EDA to uh, look at the, uh, the topography and infrastructure and what might be potential uh, sites for uh, industry uh, uh, applications uh, and let them just start, you know, looking to see what kinds of uh, uh, space would uh, would work. Uh, not making any selections, but just looking from the technical standpoint, gathering the data that we would need uh, subsequently to make uh, decisions. Uh, and looking uh, to the Planning Commission maybe to uh, find uh, uh, some potential uh, zoning uh, uh, rules for various zoning categories that we might use down there. Uh, none of that, most of that all being uh, uh, 
data gathering to supply the group as a whole as we start uh, processing uh, whatever we're going to do for that. Uh, Jim and I would probably uh, go ahead and try to take on some of that to uh, uh, since we've been working this thing and we'd continue to try to do that uh, for the uh, uh, for the foreseeable future and but the idea is not to let this thing lie fallow for uh, for some period of time we've got a little bit of uh, uh, a little bit of momentum moving and we just want to keep the momentum going okay yeah I think a lot of the topography should be relatively quick to find along the corridor. Yeah, I mean that's uh, uh, it's that plus uh, the kinds of businesses that uh, might uh, might be able to, to uh, uh, they would seek seek to go with sort of an EDA kind of thing to to uh, to work their uh, uh, their part of it in advance. Again, they're not they're not not making decisions nor is the planning commission making any decisions. They're basically just uh, coming up with uh, uh, information available to all of us. Okay. Anything else? Did you anticipate a website? Campaign? Oh yeah, we're also uh, talking about putting a uh, a short blurb on the website uh, explaining what we're trying to do, so that uh, uh, you know we have some information out to the public in general. But I think as soon as we get a uh, video of uh, of Jim doing an abbreviated <laughs> present presentation like he did to us the other night. Uh, <laughs> Well, we definitely could start <laughs> My off. My money's on Lee. <laughs> we could definitely start off with the information that was given to us the other night and yeah. putting that. Um, Those slides. Putting yeah. the presentation is on the website, but the technical supplement isn't, but we can work to do that. And, um, you know, maybe not all of it, because, I mean, some of it is stuff that's already out there anyway. Yeah. I think the idea of, of letting people know where we're, where we're trying to go, but uh, we figured that uh, a couple of meetings – uh, presenting two people and uh, and then videotaping uh, uh, one so that it would be available to everybody who's interested in uh, in seeing what we're trying to do uh, we figure the best way to deal with rumors is to provide them as much information as we can I would agree okay anything else in all right uh, it takes us to the action items. First one, supplemental appropriation from contingency for delinquent property tax. Glenda. So moved. Second. Motion and a second. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Okay. Uh, next would be the taxiway rehabilitation construction. Kurt. Everything, but it would seem to make sense. 
after they put this all together to try to go ahead and uh, get all the board action that's necessary to the whole project. One question. Is, I'm sorry. I was going to say that'll save you a lot of trips up in front of the board. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't have a problem with that. that. A question: uh, Is it possible that they might give us less than eighty percent? Okay. Uh, I, I was just concerned if they came in with a sixty or sixty seventy percent grant. Did we were we then authorizing the? The difference. Um, this project, this project uh, is eligible for eighty percent funding, so it, they'll either fund it completely or they won't fund it at all. Okay. All right. I will so move. I'll second. I have a motion and a second. <coughs> Any further discussion? All in favor, say aye. 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 Thank you. All right. Next, we move on to appointments to boards, commissions, and committees. Mr. Chairman, I'd like to appoint Mr. Lee Frame as our <coughs> at-large member to the Central Virginia Regional Jail Board to be a temporary resident, not a permanent one. <laughs> at his choice. <laughs> I don't have to walk past any bars. <laughs> not so bad. <laughs> <laughs> when you know you can get out, yes. Oh, actually, you don't know you're going to get out. <laughs> Just so you know. <laughs> All right. Sure. All right. Uh, do we have any other appointments? I think we have a request to reappoint the Literary Control Committee coordinator. Yes, sir. I would make that motion. Okay. <clears throat> Any other appointments at the present time? I know I still haven't talked to Pat, so I don't have an answer on that, although I'm sure she'll serve again. <coughs> um, all right, if there are no others then, uh, all in favor say aye. 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 Okay. You can go to jail, Lee. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, next then would be the discussion items request from the four county players regarding shared funding Tim what no trophy this trip okay I received a personal phone call informal phone call from Ray Hopkins at two and nine just uh, in discussions about the Dumpster at Barbersville Park Thank you. 
Bears beat the Eagles. Bears can just get them Well, I would say that we should do that, and I would start off with at least half, if not more. My, my feeling is we should do something like this in the rest of the campaign. But with the what they pay total, one thirty-three forty-two a month comes to sixteen hundred one dollar and four cents. If we were to pay that, that in your head, it would be eight hundred. I mean, I would. I'm going to be talking $800. $800. I'll second that. Thank you. And the funding for that is from? Contingency. Contingency. Okay. I have no problem with that. <laughs> if, we, if we're out there <laughs> using it. 800 800 just to keep it. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't reckon it matters, but. We may, I made the motion. Lee seconded it. Is there any further discussion? Or something? I was going to say, do you want to do that for this year and then <coughs> we amend the budget for next year to continue that for FY? Yes. I would say yes. That's that was your motion, right? That, that's my <coughs> amended motion. And, that, and that's my second, amended and, second. Okay. And then letting them know that at times contracts change and, you know, if it goes up that, you know, they would it would be a upon them to come back and let us know it's not they're getting eight hundred dollars you know because if their contract goes up to you know twenty thousand dollars are we going to dump the trash you know i'm just being kind of crazy with that okay all right all in favor say aye aye, aye. 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 okay <coughs> uh any question on the information items <coughs> committee reports. I have one thing um, on the RSA. Y'all met from two to two o three. Yeah. What What can you accomplish in three minutes? <laughs> By the time you get in and set up the meeting, you're gone. I mean. We basically get a report from the uh, projects manager as where the various projects are taking. Uh, that tells you they're not doing any projects. Uh, no, we got some projects going. Uh, and uh, we spend the, uh, uh, we, we get the budget or the expenditures uh, in advance. And if we have questions about the expenditures, they, uh, they come up but uh, generally there's not too many questions about the expenditures. And uh, unless uh, somebody shows up and has an appeal for something, that's pretty much our, uh, our meeting. Occasionally, uh, occasionally the meetings go uh, 10 or 15 minutes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. It takes me uh, an hour to get down to Greene County <laughs> and an hour to get back. Do right. the citizens of Orange County pay your mileage to go to that for a three-minute meeting? I mean, no, I'm just, they don't. Okay, because I was just wondering because nope. I think I think I would pick up the phone and call them before I. Not that driving to Madison isn't a beautiful ride, but whew. no. As as board members of RSA, I get a hundred dollars a meeting, and my mileage comes out of that. Oh, what professions get a hundred dollars for three minutes? Now, how make they? Let's make that the two hours and three minutes. <laughs> Okay. Right up there with heart surgeons. <laughs> Lawyers. Plumbers. What yep. lawyer are you going to $100 for three minutes? Right. The ones that keep you from going by the bars? <laughs> 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 that, would, that would be a good one, yeah. All right. Uh, anything else in the committee reports? All right, then calendar, schedule a public hearing for amendments to Chapter 26 of the Orange Code. Uh, Tuesday the 11th, and an invitation to attend the ceremony. <coughs> um, I will do the um, Lawson Kemper 
on the 11th out in the middle of nowhere. Um, well, it's, it's a beautiful drive out there. And for the 26th, that works then for everybody? Yeah. Okay. Well, um, it's 6 30. <laughs> <laughs> It apparently must be 6.30 because that would be the end of what we have except for closed meeting and public hearings that start at 7.30. Three so, hours from now? Yeah. I guess then uh, we should go into closed meeting and then... Uh, All right. Whereas the Board of Supervisors of Orange County desires to discuss in closed meeting the following matters, consultation with legal counsel pertaining to actual or probable litigation, where such consultation and open meeting would adversely affect the negotiating or litigating posture of the public body, and consultation with legal counsel employed or retained by the public body regarding specific legal matters requiring the provision of legal advice by such counsel. And whereas pursuant to 2.23711A7 of the Code of Virginia, such discussions may occur in closed meeting, now therefore be resolved that the Board of Supervisors of Orange County does hereby authorize discussion of the abor aforesaid matters in closed meeting. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 